all right so um okay so i got everything done that i wanted to get done good news all my injectors seem to be working um yeah i'm gonna go around the other way uh still got my sore foot oh i'm starting to stiffen up still walking i know i didn't break anything wipe it off my skateboard i know nobody feels sorry for me i do but nobody else does either. okay so the injectors uh seem to work flawlessly I can't show you the spray patterns because the uh, brake clean evaporated too fast uh, I'm kind of done with the test anyway so uh, the good news is all four injectors I thought uh, injector number three was going to be a problem so I tested it again but I also discovered something else that you might not need to make a it's a little messier to do it that way uh, you might not need to make an apparatus like this uh, to uh, you know cover the injectors it's just that's just to keep the back spray off but if you can get the straw lined up, oops, get the straw lined up on the injector, like right there. Um, if you shoot it straight, it'll go clean right through. It's just you got to make sure you, a little bit will spray back, so make sure again you wear eye protection and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, all four injectors seem to spray perfectly, nice and strong, nice and clean. The thing I did find though, and this is why I went back to the straw, uh, this was working. But it was a little bit difficult to, to uh, line up the straw in the center on all four of them. And the straw had to be in the center. If not, it would just spray off to the side. But the tape reacts to the... Uh, I didn't think about it. The tape does seem to react and become very, very sticky. So I took my O-rings off of each injector, which you can see the previous photos. They just slip off really easy. The idea is I didn't want anything sticky from the tape, uh, the black tape. I didn't want anything off the black tape sticking on the o-rings in case it might deteriorate the o-ring over time or something like that i just don't want to deal with it you know like whatever but it was pretty straightforward i was able to do this basically this lead here off the multimeter i taped it to the ground and then the other one i just set it in there and I held it fine and then i just had to touch the the back end to on the positive post just as i'd hit the uh the uh, top of the doodadder button there and yeah, and then she sprayed, and you can see the sheet's completely, it's been sprayed four times, and uh, it was like two nice big powerful sprays coming out, uh, nice and smooth, like a, you know, like a spray bottle, just like that, so it worked really good, so all injectors are clean, so the good news is that it eliminates uh, injector problems, I've eliminated, I think, the ICV, uh, IACV valve and whatever but I'm still going to clear out my airbox and stuff like that so I'm not going to be on the road today plus my my shifting foot oh, upshift is going to kill me the, the next day I take this out um, I might have to keep my f keep off my foot for the next day or two anyway so after that wipe out go figure uh, but anyway yeah very easy setup so motorcycle battery which uh, now's a good time to talk about it your motorcycle battery, even though it's the middle of, the, of uh, we're almost into July, we're at the end of June, and I've been riding around a bit, uh, it doesn't hurt to pull out the motorcycle battery, battery mid-season, even if it's a new battery, just take it out, put it on the trickle charger for a night, or, or whatever, just to give it that one up, and then put, throw it back into the battery, so I used the battery from the bike, everything went well, uh, I'm going to put everything back on the fuel rail, keep it as clean, maybe try to install as much of it as I can, I don't think I'm just going to have time today, so... Um, you know, it's one of those things. If you had nothing else to do in the day, you'd have it done probably within two days. But uh, so this is day four. So I'm going to go a little bit over time on my. Um, plus, I'm documenting this as I do it. Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit over time on my. Uh, on getting it back on the road. So it might be five days to six days to get it back on the road. Uh, right now, again, I'm in no rush because my, my freaking foot is killing me. I didn't break anything. I know I didn't break anything, but it's like, because I can move my foot forward. It's not throbbing. It's just really kind of got that kind of, you pulled something kind of sore feel to it. So it's just like, ah, uh, but anyway, yeah. I know, I know tomorrow when I wake up, my foot's going to be like all kind of half swollen and stuff like that a bit. Uh, I'll just walk, just walk it off. Like, I'm a man, right? Not just a pretty face. I'm a man too, you know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that works good. So maybe you don't have to go as extravagant with a rock'em sock'em pen to get it to work. Uh, but the idea was that that became a shroud so that the spray would come back at you. But I just tried it right into, like I say, getting the straw right into the injector there. And a little bit sprayed back. But it's just if you had to do it indoors somewhere where you couldn't make a mess. That, so you might not even need that. It's just uh, you'll need a vise to hold the injector. And then the injector is going to have to be 
uh, the positive and negative are, are going to have to be held into place. And then you only have to hit the button and spray at the same time. And it's, it's a very, here, I'll show you. So you see, and it's, you only have to do it for like a second or so. You're not holding it on there. You don't want it to hold it. It's just basically a, an actuator. That's all it really is. It's, it's, it's a, a mechanical jet. That's all it is. And as soon as you actuate it, hit the spray thing. And then uh, the reason why, <laughs> again, I make work with, you know, this might not be, uh, what do you call it, uh, boy, uh, boy bought Coddington's garage, but I, uh, you know, it gets the job done. So trash can, dog mat, styrofoam piece of paper uh, set it up like that then i could see exactly what my spray patterns are uh i thought injector number three wasn't working but it just i think i just don't ha i didn't have the straw lined up so i was worried about no or sort of number two and number four this is injector number two sorry this is why i pull things out and i put them back in uh i test it i put it back in but i left number two out and i put the other three back in so i thought number uh injector two and four were having problems but it just turns out i didn't have it the straw lined up in there well enough. And in fact, that was a lot faster. It would have probably saved half the time. So if you don't mind making a little bit of mess, uh, obviously, you know, I'm just using brake clean here. Uh, the good news about the brake clean is it, it um, evaporates, but be careful because I, I didn't think about it, but the glue on the tape, it seems to react to it uh, a little bit, and it was making the outside of the jet sticky, and I don't want that in the jet because I, I think once I go in there, that'd be it. And these things, these little pieces of, of junk are worth 180 bucks a piece for my bike. Uh, and the more rare your vehicle, I'm sure the more expensive they would get. So, yeah. Maybe just make a little bit of mess, extra mess, and just wear a better mask and stuff like that. But easy enough to do. If I wasn't filming, it'd be done even faster. The biggest thing was getting uh, the leads to stay in place, so I just taped that one in place, uh, the ground. And you don't want to tape them solid. It was That was the hardest thing to do, was just keep the leads in place long enough for me to tap the the uh, the post here and hit the button. That's it. It's like really literally... It's a 30 second job once you get it, uh, you know, not even 30 seconds once you get it set up. It takes you two days to do it, but after that, <laughs> now you know. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to take some pictures of this uh, for my blog. You could check it out, uh, uh, all the pictures of everything I'm doing on the blogger. So if you have a TT600 like I do, you might want to follow that blogger and then obviously uh, this channel. And then, of course, uh, if you have any other type of motorcycle or even a car, this is just a good little uh, setup to very nice and simple. Uh, works really, really well, and uh, <coughs> it's something you can do maybe once a season uh, if you need to, if you're in a really gruddy area. Uh, one of the problems I may have uh, in the long run is if I don't uh, put in a fuel filter a new, on my uh, fuel pump, I might end up having to do this a little more often. So, you know, this is one nice thing about when you get a vehicle and you can just tear it right down all the maintenance stuff do all the maintenance stuff then you know so it's nice to know that my injector is working fine uh so that's good so really it eliminates the the down to the, the the three possible things for my rough running could now come down to the timing uh the bad plugs is more likely what it's going to be and then the other hopefully not is the coils which i'll probably test the coils seeing i got the bike apart anyway i might as well do that so anyway, i'm gonna leave it at that there we go have yourselves a great day